Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Let's your first time and welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell. You got the updates. Might be kind of a weird first video. It's an unboxing video, but uh, it's courtesy of Sir Lord Ford. Uh, I won't use his real name because I didn't talk to him if that if he wants that out there or not. But that is uh, his handle here on YouTube, and maybe the most like official sounding Sir Lord Ford. Uh, double the uh, pageantry there with Sir and Lord. Um, I'm actually put this on the ground. Um, but yeah, he got at me uh, with the narwhal barrel age version, um, uh, differing opinions, and instead of like some stupid internet fight, he's like, you know what? I got another one. I'll send it your way, and I'll put some other stuff in the box. I said, cool, man. Sounds awesome. So yeah, instead of the evil bad stuff you hear about on the internet, people you know being stupid, arguing over silly things. It's like the exact opposite, so that's really rad, obviously. So, uh, not sure everything's gonna be in this box. Uh, he did mention that he just ruined like some random stuff. He's now worried about if I like it or not. So, uh, kind of actually piqued my interest hearing that. But let's get into it. Uh, so here's the uh, aforementioned one of the, the uh, narwhal. So this is the, is it the 2014 then? Cause I think right, the 2015 says it on the front. So I'm going to assume this is a 2014, and yeah, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong there. That can come in. Looks like there's six things, maybe, five or six. Uh, be warned, Draft Punk is not dead. <laughs> 2020. Uh, from Oliver Brewing Company, message paid for by friends of aforementioned company. Uh, 8%. Uh, alcohol by volume, double dry hop, double India Pale, featuring Amarillo and Mosaic hops. Nice. Um, I'm a huge fan of punk music, actually, so that's pretty cool that oh, that has punk written on it. Oh, we got a couple cans in this one. It all, around, it all revolves around beer, Jesus, Mexican hot chocolate imperial style. You know I love that. Uh, Center of the Universe Brewing Company out of Ashland, Virginia. Uh, I don't know them by name, I don't think. Uh, I'll wait till I review it to uh, read all the description. 11.5% ABV. I like that, too. <laughs> oh, this, this can art's sick. I don't know what beer this is, but that is sick. Um, all right. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, Adroit Theory, A-D-R-O-I-T, Adroit Theory, times Diesel Boy, like the punk band Diesel Boy. Uh, let's see, Vanta Blend, this is Demogorgon, and it's Blackcurrant Lime Salt Pepper Sugar Squid Ink. That would explain the can art, which I still haven't shown you, 9% ABV. I hope this comes up on camera well, because that is sick. Man, I kind of want to wait till the new season of Stranger Things to drink this one then. That is some sick can art. Very metal can art. Uh, so you got, got another twofer. Great packaging, by the way. Looks like it's an old like um, Stone Brewing Company box. All right, so this, oh, Dewclaw, okay. Uh, Hell on Wood. Uh, bro, ooh, barley wine style ale aged in burn barrels. <laughs> Need I say more? 13.1% ABV. I feel like this is just to get me to say swear words since I keep this channel so squeaky clean. Uh, Hell on Wood, here, so another swear word coming, everyone. Uh, damned tasty. There you go, everyone who's been waiting for it. Uh, Death by King Cake, Oscar Blue. Oh, Oscar Blues. Ale with vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, cacao nibs, orange peel, and pecan. 6.5% ABV. Actually, I don't know this beer. Looks like it was canned this year. Yeah, I don't know this beer. Maybe it's too new for me to know it. Huh, Death by King Cake. You stop me on that one. Another two for G's, man. All right. <laughs> Key Barrel Age 2019 Siberian Summer. 10% Russian Imperial Stout. You know what I mean? <laughs> Again, like, 
You watch this channel, you know that kind of stuff I like. That sounds awesome. First release on a new rotating high gravity series to put everything in perspective. I just wonder if it said what kind of barrel. It says drink by 2025, so they put like a basically a five year, uh, uh, five years out kind of a expir not expiration, but like Best Buy. If I could talk, yeah, I don't know what kind of barrel. I'm, if I'm if it's on here, I'm missing it as I'm trying to quickly do this and not lose interest. Ooh, Hardywood, dreamlike, New England style, double India pale ale, nine, or sorry, eight percent ABV. It's a pretty cool can art too. It's got um, like lightning bug, two lightning bugs in a jar, which I think is pretty cool. Any other information about it? Oh, artist is Tyler Thompson. Thomas. I can't. Why can't I talk today? Not good. Not good. And last but not least, right? Not crazy. I don't want to rip this tape too hard and send the beers flying. Coffee Cake Reserve, style with brown sugar, vanilla, and cinnamon. All oh! Props. All right, so my sister for Christmas, one of the, she got me a couple beers, and one of them was the, um, what was it? What was the name of that brewery? P2 Brewing Company, something like that. And um, it was a collaboration coffee style with Wawa. And they had brewed, I think, like a year ago. This year they did a couple other ones. Uh, with Like Wawa did a couple other ones. This is one of them. It, it's, oh, oh, my God. It says it right here, the name of the other brewery. 2SP. So it's Hardywood, Wawa, and 2SP. Coffee Cake Reserve. Stout with brown sugar, vanilla, and cinnamon. Uh, contains coconut. So it probably has coconut in it as well. 6% ABV. Very cool. Thanks for that. And last but not least, Licking Hole Creek. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Mango, Mango Habanero Brown Ale. 6.5% ABV. I, I get the Mango Habanero. I don't know why I, I did this gesture because it has nothing to do with about to say. I get that as a pairing, but in a brown ale. Interesting. I would have guessed... Many other styles. I'm trying to think how many other styles would have guessed over a brown ale. Interesting. Like I said, I'll wait till the review to actually read the uh, what, what this is and everything. But yeah, well, you stumped me again with this one. Yeah, I, I didn't expect all this, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I mean, when I picked up the box, it had weight to it. But uh, yeah, cool. Thanks. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll figure out exactly, um, um, you know, if I'm doing this on its own or if I should compare it to something. So I'll, I'll talk to him off camera, figure that out. But yeah, really excited to drink all these beers and... Uh, um, yeah, maybe some of the higher ABV ones I can sit on a little bit. I do some of these ones I should have probably a little fresher. But now I'm just thinking out loud. So thanks again, Sir Ford Lord. Sir Lord Ford. It's like, I, I keep wanting to just say his actual name. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate that, obviously. Uh, check me out on Instagram on Taps. No hype beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, be cool on the internet. It's It can get so lame. Cheers.